Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. I have another one of those fairy dolls from the Treasury Collection, Paradise Galleries. Um, this one on the side of the box, it says Heather Pink. Alright, so let us see what this means. Heather Pink. Okay, she's got a pink dress. And I guess her name is Heather. Look how cute. So I've opened up two of these dolls. This is a series by artist Patricia Rose, all of them from Paradise Galleries. And um, these were given to me to do with as I choose. And I am actually selling a number of these dolls from the collection that was given to me on eBay. Um, I have a video where I kind of talk a little bit about my reasonings. And um, so I won't go into that here. Let's take a look at the doll. All right, she has a little star. Looks like the, the charm is has come off of the like scepter thing. I'm not sure where that charm goes. All right, so she's been in this box since the mid 1990s. The person who gave me these dolls, she could see, she can tell she unboxed them, you know, like she took them out, but then she put them back in, and they really never were displayed. Um, they have a stand. Oh, yeah, she's on her stand. So they're, they're on stands. Oh, she's actually tied in here. Okay. So they come with a stand. So they're porcelain and with a soft body. So the feet, or the legs and the arms and the head um, are porcelain. And then the body is soft. So she has her little, she has her little paradise hand, a uh, little hand tag thingy. She is on the stand and all it up here. She still has her hair net on. She has a really cute face. Very pretty inset eyes. And then these, oh, her wings are different than the other two. Oh, these are kind of cool. There, there's wire in here. And I think that's like some glitter. That's kind of gone awry over many years. Yeah, see, because there's little glitter bits on here. Hmm. Interesting. Look at that curly hair. So, by the way, here's her little paperwork. This is her, I don't know what you call it, Certificate of Authenticity, maybe. And let's see. Yeah, her name is Her uh, Heather the Fairy Child. Number 33129. And there is about the designer. And there's a picture of what she should look like when she's all put together. Let's keep looking. Alright, so it's, she's got this looks like a belt of some kind. And so it's a it's a overskirt. I say these wings are actually pretty decent. There's a wire piece in here so you can shape them. That's kind of cool. All right, let me flip her around here. She's got adorable little bloomers. I'm going to take this stand off so we can take a better look at her. All right, so here's the stand. It's pretty heavy duty. It's metal. Hmm. It's a little booger there on her back of her leg. I guess it's a freckle. <laughs> but she's got um, some paint on her toenails. And does she have paint on her fingernails? Yeah, her fingernails are painted. That's pretty. And then she's got this pink dress. Let's fix her wings here. These dolls are not articulated. 
Oh, look at that. That's on the inside. That's really nice detail. You can't see that, but how pretty. That's kind of cool that they do that. And of course, the little bloomers have lace trim. So, all right. So this is a, a skirt over the dress. Very cute. And it's interesting. So her hand, oh, you know what? You can put, oh, it's got a little hole there. So I guess you can put the um, wand in there. That's a good idea. I think that's what it's for. I don't see another hole though. That's kind of weird. Huh. All right. All right, let me take her little little, what do you call it, off her little hair net and take a look closely at her face. She has green eyes and those are eyelashes, not painted on eyelashes, but hand set eyelashes and a really cute little, little mouth, very light blushing, and eyebrows. And it looks like she's got a little, like a little wreath around her hair. I'm actually going to leave the hairnet on um, because, like I said, I think I'm going to sell her. And I don't want to handle, handle her a whole bunch. I do want to check. One of these dolls um, looked very similar to her. And I was not, I, I was horrified to discover that the dress that this other doll was wearing didn't fit her. So I'm curious, I just want to make sure that this one fits. So this is just tied, the, the overskirt kind of thing is tied and overhand knot or, or a square knot. But I think it's attached, yeah, it's attached to the skirt. So, oh, this is an extra, oh yeah, so see it's, this is a belt and it's stitched on to the dress. Hmm, okay. And yeah, this dress does look like it fits her. This one is Velcro. The other one was snapped and did not fit for nothing or nobody. And this one, now how do you get, oh, okay. So the wings are attached to the dress. So if you take the dress off, then the wings come off. Okay, but the dress does fit her, so that's good to know. Very reassuring after my last experience with a similar doll. <laughs> and let me go ahead and, this, these are pretty. It's a pretty dress. I also wanted to show you the ears. All of these dolls have really cute little pointed ears on their heads. Um, yeah, the hair is wig, is a wig. It is not um, rooted, but you can see they have really cute little pointy ears for the fairies. All right, I'm gonna put her back in her stand and take out her little wand and see what she looks like with that. Get her wings all organized and everything and be right back to show you what she looks like. All right, so I wanted to show you that the little, I don't know what you call this, uh, I guess maybe it's a magic wand. It does fit in her hand. So, but these dolls do not, they have no articulation. So her, the way her arm is, like her arms don't, um, they don't move, right? So they're right, they're here. They're, you know, they're here. They're not moving around. Um, yeah, they do not move around. So you can't move her, her arm up or anything. Um, and it looks like this is supposed to be glued um, onto the end of this little stick. And, you know, it's not glued there anymore. That's an easy fix. But here she is on her stand, back on her stand. And I fixed her wings a little bit. She's been squished up in that box for so long. So she just needs to poof out a little bit. Probably a little steam would help with her little skirt. And like I said, I'm gonna kinda just leave that hairnet on. In fact, I'm gonna, I'll cover her face back up with it and put her back in her box 
Um, I will be selling her, but I noticed just now as I was taking pictures and stuff and videotaping, this one eyelash is kind of, I mean, it's still attached, but it's kind of, like this one's totally open, and this one is bent a little bit. So she, she needs a little bit of TLC, this gal does. But, yep, I'm going to be posting her on eBay. I already have some dolls over there, Some uh, another fairy doll. I might have a couple more fairy dolls. Um, I also have some, as I'm filming this, um, some of the super cute little Jenny dolls from the mid-'80s. Um, I think I have one from 1972 also. But I have a number of items on eBay. What I like about eBay is that, you know, people can do the um, buy now. They can also do... Uh, where they give you, um, you know, you can kind of go back and forth a little bit on making deals if you want to. And that's not something you can necessarily do on um, Etsy. I do have an Etsy shop, but eBay's just different. So I think these dolls are going to work better, you know, as an eBay type of sale. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of this cute little girl, Heather? And do you have any fairy dolls in your collection right now? Have a wonderful Dolly Day. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.